What's up, guys? It's been the biggest of minutes. Things were definitely a little bit different the last go around we had at this. I was in my senior year of high school. It was the winter. I was living in Wisconsin. No longer live in Wisconsin. We're out. We're in LA. It's been a journey. I've been here since February, and I have stories to tell. I have a lot of stuff and a lot of different insights and advice and tips and stuff that I think I can share with you guys. Just so much stuff that, that I haven't shared and we haven't spoken about. So it's gonna be a lot of catching up as these videos progress and I take you guys through stuff that I'm working on. Days out here are, I thought days in Wisconsin were unpredictable as a musician, um, also trying to keep up with school, but no. But th this is a whole different ball game out here. So I think you guys are gonna have a fun time with me as we we do a little journey together. Yeah, I figured there couldn't be a better time to start. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday. I'm about to go to bed, get refueled for the week. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. It feels great to be back. It really does. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Let's do it. All right, it's Staples time. I'm just gonna try to knock the shift out and get back. I'm done at two and then I have the rest of the day and tomorrow off, so I'm probably gonna stay up later tonight. Work is done, which is good. Today we're kind of just, I don't know, trying to just, trying to be musical today. Right now I'm just finishing up a melody with Miles. So I produced on a song called Falling Slowly by an artist named B. Wills, super great guy, super awesome music as well. Um, the song actually hit seven million streams today randomly, it did like, did like 250k yesterday, so we'll take it, man. Seven mil on that, so it's good news. So some of them are cursed. I, I found with, with like the tape Melify, I really only use like the the default preset, and I kind of just mess around with the knobs a little bit more. Well, that one sounds great. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking about that. Use that, use that one. one. Yeah, that's alright. I think the same way you do, Miles. I, I, almost half of what I get, or half of what I make, almost gets bounced out as a starter for someone else to finish. But you just gotta have to stick through the process. I've had different eras where I will write stuff down, um, but yesterday I just felt like I needed to write everything down. So I'm the guy that when I have a bunch of things that are going on, um, maybe in my music or in my creativity, just everyday life things like that come with just, just living out on your own, those sort of things. I feel like the more that I put stuff off and the more that I just have on my plate to do, I feel like the less likely I am to do anything. And that sort of leaks into all aspects of things for me. So I find it best to separate my tasks um, into different categories. It makes me feel good when I feel like I have some sort of control like that within the categories, especially with creating, because that is ultimately what I want to do. So if the creating isn't good, then I feel like everything else further takes a hit and it just avalanches and snowballs off of each other. What's the, the word for it? Um, like analysis paralysis, like where you have too many options or too many different things um, and that can oftentimes create nothing getting done. times. I just want to get you these intervals quick. My whole life I've had a tendency to really like, there's like, say there's something I really want to do, I'll get all excited about it. And initially I do tend to start that thing. I tend to take it up, whether it was running, or making YouTube videos, something that, as you guys can see, it, I mean, it really doesn't take like, too much to notice. Just scroll down the channel, you'll see all the gaps, all of the different like sprees of eras, all of the different like types of thumbnails, um, the different eras, the type beat era, um, then tutorials and back to type beats, then tutorials and vlogs, doing this day in the life sort of format that I'm doing now, only modified just a little bit, kind of just not being able to make up my mind, it looks like, and also like, a laziness thing for sure is definitely something that I see when I look at that. Um, but I tend, like I bite off too much. I start thinking about like, oh, especially with like editing and stuff in, in videos, um, that has been a big thing for me. Um, like all these edit ideas and even for this video, 
the concept was going to be something totally different than what it ended up being. And I think, like, it was just biting off too much at once. <laughs> Let's ease into it a little bit, Gavin. So I think this video is just really an example of starting small, building it up slowly with consistency and letting taking note of all of the ideas and all the things that you're excited about, but really just focus on doing it and slowly building it up. Just like how you learn to make, or how I learned to make melodies. It was a long process that took a lot of trial and error. I feel like a lot of us like to dive very head first into things. And then obviously you gotta, you kinda gotta look at like your, the track record. Like with me, my track record has been to dive into things, hit my face, bottom of the pool, at some point and slowly repeat the process um, for a lot of things creatively and athletically as well. The reason that I started thinking about all of this is when I started running back in June. And whenever I would start running again, I my, my background, I, I, I did cross country in high school, although I don't really, wouldn't really consider myself a natural runner. Um, baseball, whenever I would like stop running, I would try to just get back into it close to where I was. Um, obviously I knew I wasn't quite where I was, but I just wouldn't have the patience with myself and I would kind of just move on to the next thing and never really made them a habit. Uh, but in June I started running and I changed the goal from just trying to get up to back where I was before uh, to accepting that I probably have a new baseline now that I haven't ran in how long, when I was living in Utah, which is a uh, subject for many different videos, I lived very sedentary, and meaning I wasn't really standing. So I, I gained a lot of weight too, and I just, I, I, I really, then I accepted that, all right, we're gonna have to build a baseline. So I would just run like one or two miles a day. That's where you gotta start. Sometimes you gotta start a little bit lower than where you were. That's something that I love now and I'm starting to become a little bit more aware of. And I think it translates to just about any sort of area that you are trying to get better in, whether it is athletics, like the example, or creatively, I think I definitely felt some of these things with melodies and stuff too. Mainly the quantity of melodies I was making. When I got to LA, I started making melodies that were a little bit more structured out, meaning I have, would have different sections, like an intro section, kind of like a verse section, um, a chorus section, and a lot of times I like doing different chord progressions and stuff now in loops, something that I feel like a lot of us shy away from. Just because obviously it takes a little bit longer and it's good to have a lot of melodies and it's good to be setting them out. So it's just a really a time thing. Um, so I made the choice that I wanted to start spending more time on my stuff. So that really put my output down by a lot, I think on average, I mean, each melody is different and some still take the same amount of time as they used to take. Some take four or five hours. I think it was also just like giving myself that flexibility and not beating myself up about it, um, which I also learned from running and just being open with, all right, every day is not gonna be, you kind of just gotta work with whatever your body is giving you for that day. And same goes for melody making and yeah. Starting small, starting small, slowly building up the steps. I've been in LA for a while now, and I kind of realized that the foundation hasn't been built in the way that I would like it to be built. So it's time to do that. It was fun to do that and kind of talk to you guys a little bit more, because I know I like to stay pretty low key on social media and stuff, which is another thing. A lot of this can stem from some overstimulation from at least if I'm speaking from my personal experiences with social media, um, all, all of them, whether it's Instagram, it, it doesn't really matter. YouTube, I kind of branch off in a different category for the type of stuff I watch, but I just find myself doing the usual, just like kind of like mindless consuming. And I was just putting a lot of stuff in my ears all day long, and I feel like that can be dangerous potentially for a person like me with creating because I, I feel like it kind of it just it creates some sort of some sort of a like an I don't know if it's unexplainable but just like a, a like a foggy sort of feeling when you're just hearing so much so many different opinions um seeing so many different places people doing so many different things um it can kind of take 
at least for me, it, it sort of it, it took me away from myself, um, and since I just felt a little bit disconnected, um, and I'm still working on this. My phone is such a habit to me, and like I still like find myself just picking it up, scrolling through Instagram, just trying to be more aware of that. Um, and again. Starting small, not beating myself up about it, being more aware of the type of stuff that I'm consuming and some of the effects that it might have on me. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video format and style, especially where you could see these type of videos going in the future um, and topics that you want me to talk about. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to go follow me on Instagram at GavinHadley underscore, and I'll see you guys in the next video.